Yo, 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 what's good, it's your boy Faded 2 Games. So welcome back to another Warframe video. So today I've been playing on Lavo, so you know the the status effect king, besides Saren, which is the status effect queen, and the DPS queen, but Lavo's, uh, I've been having quite a bit of fun. Um, I wouldn't say difficult to build, but uh, it took some tweaking just to get my survivability right. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys are just now tuning in for the first time, just guys that like and subscribe button, because it's about to get... Good. Cue the intro. We're gonna get into it. Abilities first is passive. He has universal orbs, which gives energy and health. So everywhere he picks up, it will be a energy and health orb. Now, since Lavos is a health frame and not a energy frame, he does not use energy. He uses base health. Now, uh, you can hold an ability, and each ability can imbue a different element. Next we have uh, Ophidian Bite. Now, lash out with a toxic serpentine strike consuming the target to heal Lavos, which is also his heal as well. He gives a 70% health drain and hold to imbue it with toxin. Next we have Vile Rush. Dash forward crashing through enemies and leaving an icy trail of broken vials. Hold to imbue the next cast with cold. Now you can stack these abilities. So I can stack these to get viral. Or I could just go cold or toxin, whichever one you prefer. Arch. Uh, next, we have Transmutation Pro. Launch a pro that converts health and energy words into universal orbs that provide both. And ammo pickups into universal ammo pickups. The probe shocks enemies in close proximity, which each electrocuted foe reduces their ability cooldowns by 1.5 seconds. So every time you launch this, you'll get a nice little cooldown reduction every 1.5 seconds for every enemy afflicted. And so I decided to go range on this handy dandy build. Next we have Catalyze, which is a catalyst probes erupts from levels and douse combatants in a fiery gel. Damage is double for each element afflicting the enemy. Now, do you know how much damage you can do if you're just a status effect Dealer, so I chose to go status effects on all my weapons as well. So for my enemy, just does just fire damage, but status effects are super super fun. And next, uh, I chose to go. Uh, where did I go? Monterey? Uh No, uh, I went Vizarin for our void shell, which gives us a uh, vulnerability and as base 300 base health. And when a guardian shell breaks, it gives us our shield regeneration by 130. And regeneration late by 6%, which is huge for 10 seconds. And you can constantly practice. There is no cooldown. Uh, next, we have Boy Snare. Though, uh, Child of Infinity, uh, Alex within a feeling range, gain 80% health. Now, Boy Snare is just a nice little suction, you know what I'm saying? Like tech gravity or so. But let's go and get into the abilities. Now, the abilities, oh my god, into the build. So, here's a build. pretty basic build. Now, you can go your Umbra mods, but I did not form with this guy. Um, I am not, uh, have not formed him any. But we have still fiber, vitality, adaptation, auger reach, continuity, stretch, equilibrium, and fast deflection. Next, we have power drop and corrosive projection. Now, we got some going arcane edges and guardian. So we have shield recharge uh, along with more additional armor while we're sitting at a nice hefty 1.1288 uh, 1, armor and 1345 health along with 370 shields, which is constantly being brung back. So we are shield gaining along with armor so we're pretty tanky not gonna lie pretty tanky now we we don't get one shot but we do take quite a bit of damage and with you proccing your orphidian bite and your transportation probe you can go ahead and just continuously heal over and over again all right this build and for this one i'm running the strun prime in Karnon. i decided to go absolutely all status effects uh i have no uh damage mods so i decided to go cleanse a broken galvanized cell shell shock nice munitions critical decelerations prime ravage and contagious spread now i am going to form this i just have not got a chance to when this build was made now i got shotgun mandela but you can definitely go merciless or you can go uh what is that word bro or uh deadhead whichever one you prefer i just chose to go multi shot because it's continuous and a reload speed is super handy because i am running the shotgun and uh we got prime ravage chain reload shell shock Ever so, hunt munitions. So that hand dandy slash damage is dealing so much damage, guys. And next, I got my compressor. You know, my little bubble gun, Cascade Flare, one of my favorite favorite secondary arcanes. We have primary primed expel corrosion, bird diffusion, as so, so, heat charge, filmation, 
Sure Shot, and Hornet Strike. Now it is on radiation. I might go ahead. Well, it's viral. Since it's innate viral, we get heat and radiation all together. Which is a very, very good gun. Next, I have Twin Crow Core, you know, the usual with melee explosion, Smite, Aroken, Candidate, or Shadow Shock, and such. Blood Rush, and Twin Crow Core, Aqua Vicent, and Dreamer's Wraith, and melee exposure. Like I said, I'm running Bizarrin for that. And also, we get uh, automatic kill. So, if you're running with a team, you uh, instant risk, which is super handy. Next time I'm running Lunala, my Crescent Book of with uh, Tech Assault, has a 2% chance to ignore the damage, Shepard Claws, Hunter Recovery, Vicious Bond, Fetch, Tech Assault, Duplex Bond, Crescent Devolution, and Crescent Charge, which amplifies our damage by 100% for every enemy that is lifted. Now we stack Crescent Charge with our Vile Acceleration, that is more boosted damage as well, baby. And you'll pretty much know who's lifted and who's not. Yeah, uh, you can definitely go Contagious Bond if you want to spread those status effects. Contagious Bond would be a huge, huge, huge damage increase as well. So I definitely recommend Contagious Bond. But yeah, that's the build, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please sure hit that like and subscribe button again. And yeah, I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time too. It's been me, boy Faded. I'm out. You did catch the next one. Peace.